What's going on? Um, my name's Clint, and I run Stone Meadow of Doom. Um, thought I would change things up a little bit and start doing some personalized videos, uh, reviewing some old bands from many decades ago, uh, from like the 70s. There's a lot of great stuff uh, from the 70s that influenced modern day stoner rock, psych, doom. It's called proto metal and proto stoner. And there are just countless bands uh, from the early to mid 70s that really the bands that I upload really took a lot of inspiration from. Now some of these bands you'll probably know some of them you probably won't know. I want to do a series here where I highlight a band or an album from the band or a couple albums from the band, tell you about it, tell you about the band, put a link to them, and hopefully introduce you to some stuff you might not have heard of that you would really like from 50 years ago. Uh, a lot of that gets lost in the shuffle, obviously, after 50 years, but you know, I found a lot of these bands just digging deep online without the internet, never would have found these bands. So I'm going to start out today with uh, one that's uh, probably a little more introductory level, one that you guys would probably, most of you would probably already know. Uh, it's kind of a more well-known underground 70s band. It's this one. I've got the CD, Captain Beyond. Uh, the artwork is really cool, you can see. Very uh, stonerish. You can tell these guys were into the whole psych and space rock theme. Uh, the lighting's not very good, but. Uh, these guys were a super group. Uh, they consisted of peop uh, former members of Deep Purple, uh, Iron Butterfly. Half of Iron Butterfly was in this, was uh, on this album here. And so, if you like Iron Butterfly, which I really do, um, they got half of the band, and they've got a guy from Johnny Winter, which was a pretty good group as well. Uh, Rod Evans was the singer. He was the singer of Deep Purple. You had the drummer of uh, Johnny Winter, Bobby Caldwell, um, and Iron Butterfly guitarist Jer Larry Reinhardt, as well as Lee Dorman. Now, Lee Dorman, he is a fantastic bassist, one of, one of the greatest from that era. Uh, so the amount of talent that's on this CD is insane. It's insane. So these guys, I mean... They put out three records in the 70s, but this is the one, their, their debut, it's a self-titled debut, this is the one to get. Um, it's just chock full, I mean, the entire album is chock full of good songs, and it all flows, it all flows so well, it's like a, a symphony, you know, all the songs flow and, and meld into each other. It's a great journey, it's well done, put together with amazing talent. Came out, I believe it says, okay, so yeah, it came out in 1972, a great year for proto, early proto metal and proner stoner. Um, so this uh, band had a lot of styles, including progressive rock, space rock, hard rock, uh, all the stuff that makes that lovely sound that we love today. The self-titled debut album from 1972. Heavy, heavy guitar-driven album. Jazz influences. Various time signatures. And most of the songs consist of three melodies of tightly arranged interconnected songs. So that's what I was talking about when I said it all flows really well. They put it together as medleys, so, and it also tells a, it tells a story through the music and through the lyrics. Very much about space and 
you know, psych and all that great stuff. Mythology, mythology, you know, mythology. A lot of, uh, you can tell by the artwork, a lot of these guys were into mythology and stuff like that. Um, but this album is just so intense. And they put out albums after this, but they just were not the same as this album. This album is one of my all-time favorites from the 70s. And I'm sure most of you know, but if you don't, please find this album and buy it. You can get it online for a very cheap price, very affordable price. Um, eBay would have it. Amazon would probably have it. Definitely get this one. Unfortunately, the band was plagued with lawsuits and legal problems with their former la label, Capricorn Records. And unfortunately, the band did not last very long. They were done by 1978. And they reformed in the late 90s after 20 years, which is very common for bands from this era to have broken up for a couple decades and then reunite later on. A lot of these bands from this era had a lot of legal problems with labels, and uh, it's a shame. A lot of these very talented bands were cut short. Lee Dorman has passed away. This, uh, from 2012, December 21st, he passed away. And he died, and then Reinhardt died uh, in 2011 from cancer. I uh, saw that they reunited in 2013, and it doesn't say that they broke up. So uh, you may actually be able to catch Captain Beyond if they uh, still tour. Um, it said they were touring in 2015, so I don't know if they're still touring, but. Boy, if you ever get the chance to see Captain Beyond live, that would be quite quite a thing. Unfortunately, the only current member from the original lineup is Bobby Caldwell. So Lee Dorman obviously passed away. He's no longer there. But Rod Evans is retired. So the vocalist is gone. So you only have Bobby Caldwell, the drummer, left over. And... uh I don't know. It'd still be it'd still be interesting to uh, see these guys if you could, but but I uh, you can kind of see the track list. I really really love "Raging River of Fear." That one is probably my favorite. Track five, a lot of cowbell, a lot of cowbell on that one. It's a groove monster. So I'll cut this uh, short now. I think I've babbled on long enough. Captain Beyond. Check these guys out if you haven't. I will be back with another highlight of a 70s band, a proto-metal band. Probably do another uh, CD highlight. I have quite a few of these old CDs in my collection. so. Thanks for taking the time to uh, listen here, and I will see you soon. Doom on, guys. Stay tuned for more music as well.